Hello, beautiful people of the internet. What's up? It's your girl, Akeisha. Hormonal acne can be incredibly difficult to deal with. And this is because while there are certain hormonal changes that we can predict, everybody's body is different. So you really have to find a method that works for you. As someone who's dealt with cystic hormonal acne for over seven years and finally managed to clear my skin, today I'm gonna be sharing with you a comprehensive guide to managing hormonal acne for yourself. If this is your first time seeing my face, my name is Lakeisha, and on this channel I post a lot of skincare, makeup, hair, and lifestyle related videos. If that is something you're interested in, then make sure you are subscribed. And without further ado, let's get started. So what is hormonal acne and what are some of its causes? Hormonal acne is a type of acne caused by fluctuations in hormone levels, particularly androgens, that can increase the oil production in your skin, and this in turn clogs your pores. This usually affects teens during puberty, but it can be very common amongst adult women during their period, pregnancy, and menopause. Some of the common triggers for hormonal acne are androgens, like we talked about before, polycystic ovarian syndrome, otherwise known as PCOS, your diet, if you're consuming high glycemic foods like dairy, for example, they can trigger hormonal changes in your body, which can contribute to your acne too. Stress, which raises cortisol levels in your body. It's not really good for your skin or for your overall health in general. And of course, medications like birth control as well as steroids. What are the symptoms of hormonal acne and how do you know if you have it? There's so many areas on your face where you can get acne, but if you're experiencing hormonal acne, it's usually around the lower jaw and mouth area. And the type of acne that you'll get would be more cystic, more painful. They may even be red on your face as well and they take longer to get rid of. So if hormonal acne is what you are currently experiencing, you will want to take a gentle approach to your skincare to make sure that you're not exacerbating that problem, make sure that you're cleaning your skin properly so that you're avoiding any of that excess oil on your face to clog your pores in the first place and providing your skin with the right essential fatty acids and building blocks so it can heal itself as well as protect it from other stressors. For your morning routine, you want to focus on gentle cleansing, hydrating your skin, and not clogging your pores. For your nighttime routine, you want to focus on cleansing your skin, getting rid of all of the dirt, the oil, debris from the day, as well as rebuilding your skin. So replenishing, giving it the nourishment, and helping it just really heal overnight. Now that you have your skincare routine set, it is time to deal with the root of the problem because managing hormonal acne is not just about what you apply topically on your skin, it's about what you feed your skin to. You'll want to avoid certain types of foods that will trigger these hormonal responses in your body. This could be dairy, this could be sugar, this could be alcohol, processed foods. All of these things contribute to inflammation in the body and inflammation triggers a lot of other issues. Now, it doesn't mean that you can never eat dairy. I am a huge lover of cheese and no one and nothing is ever gonna make me put that down, but it's about eating it in moderation. You'll want to make sure that you include leafy greens, omega-3 fatty acids, and antioxidants into your routine. So this could be like berries, this could be salmon, this could be nuts. You wanna make sure that you stay hydrated, your liver, plays a huge role in the detoxification of your body and just drinking water, especially in the morning. I like to drink lemon water on an empty stomach because that starts the digestion process and it helps to cleanse and rid my body of toxins from the inside. And of course, stress plays a huge role in the acne, like we said with the cortisol. So making sure that you get a good amount of exercise. Listen, it doesn't matter whether you're exercising five times a week for 45 minutes. It just matters that you're doing it. So if you can only do it three times a week for 15 minutes at a time, listen, consistency is better. Meditation is a really great way to ease your mind and de-stress and of course getting adequate sleep because if you're not sleeping properly, all of that replenishing that your body is supposed to do overnight, that healing, it can't really do. I am a huge fan of holistic wellness, holistic skincare, beauty, etc. So you know I'm going to talk about herbal remedies for hormonal acne. There are a few different herbs that you can consume to help you manage your hormone levels, particularly during the peaks of your period cycle. Spearmint is superb because it reduces androgen levels, which if you can stop the problem in the first place, why wouldn't you, right? It also is anti-inflammatory and it helps to regulate your menstrual cycle. It helps to make your cycles more regular as well if you're experiencing an issue there. For this one, you'll want to steep in a tea 
tea, let it brew for about 10 minutes or so, then you can consume just as is, or you can add honey and lemon to taste. The next one is evening primrose. It helps to reduce inflammation in the body. It also helps to balance your hormones. Evening primrose is rich in gamma linoleic acid. This helps to regulate hormone fluctuations, so it'll keep them more regular for you as well. And this can actually help alleviate PMS symptoms and make them less severe. I always like consuming my hormonal acne treatments from the inside out because it can stop the problem before it even becomes a problem. In the next video, I will teach you how to use natural aerobics remedies to help mitigate and treat your acne. Make sure that you are subscribed and click that bell so you're notified when I upload that video. Sometimes there's only so much that you can do by yourself at home. If you tried everything under the sun and it's still not working, it may be a time to consult a professional. This would be especially beneficial if you're experiencing severe cystic acne, a lot of excessive scarring on your skin, or you're seeing a lack of improvement with these over-the-counter products or these natural over remedies. It's always a great idea to talk with your doctor about what you're experiencing so they can help prescribe you the best oral or topical treatments for you. What's great is that nowadays there's so many different options for seeking medical advice. I know that doctors sometimes can be very hard to get an appointment with, especially here in Canada, but there are dermatologists, there are estheticians, and there's also naturopaths that you can speak to or nutritionists that you can speak to as well. So there's a lot of different options for you. For me personally, like I said, I've dealt with acne for seven years. And for the first couple years of my journey, I really didn't even know that hormonal acne was a thing. I don't know why the two just didn't connect, but I never had acne as a teenager and it only happened when I was in my early 20s. So I was like a fish out of water. There was not as much information as there is currently widely available as there was then, especially for people with dark skin type. So it was a little bit more challenging for me in that way. And I was kind of in a self denial where I didn't think that my acne was that bad and that I required uh, more professional assistance. But in the sixth year, of my acne journey is when I started incorporating natural remedies into solving the root of the problem. I spoke with a naturopath, we went and did some blood work, and we just pulled up some of the information, the stats, so I could really see a good picture of what was going on with my body. It ended up being that I had a surplus of certain vitamins as well as a deficiency in certain vitamins in my body. And by balancing both of those, man, I have had clear skin for two years and I have never looked back. It took me six years to figure out how to deal with my acne topically, and then the last two years of my acne to figure out how to stop it in the first place from occurring. Every now and again, I will still experience a few breakouts, but it's nothing like it was before, so I'm very happy about that. Nobody likes to hear it, but you really need to be consistent and you need to be patient. You need to give yourself some time because if you think about it, your acne did not appear overnight, so it's not going to be overnight for it to go away. Another thing I'd really recommend is tracking your progress. This could be taking photos of your face and putting them in a digital notebook or printing them out, or just keeping a regular notebook and jotting down any fluctuations. When you try different things, when you remove certain foods from your diet or you add certain foods from your diet, how is your body? responding to it. Make sure that you're writing that down so you know what works and what doesn't. Now let's move on to some frequently asked questions. So the first is, can hormonal acne affect men? The short answer is yes. Hormonal acne can definitely affect men as well. In the grand scheme of things, we don't really know very much about male hormonal cycles simply because we haven't really researched it. Men are just as affected by hormonal fluctuations as women are. They do have androgens in their body, which increases the oil production in their skin, as well as testosterone, which also can be linked to acne. From my research, most of acne in men is caused by androgen levels, testosterone levels that are out of balance, as well as cortisol. If your hormone levels are out of balance, the testes are dependent on a certain concentration of testosterone within the testicle, right. not just circulating. And if that gets impaired, then you're in trouble. But yeah. it's a long time ago. It's not when you think it is. I can't show the full video because of copyright, but, but essentially males testosterone levels have lowered by about 50% in the past two decades. So our fathers had twice as much testosterone than men have today. 
And this lowered level of testosterone, this imbalance in hormones can lead to so many different issues and complications that we have not studied. We've just never really thought it was important. This lowered rate of testosterone leads to miscarriages. Their parental contribution to creating a child does not occur during the day or the night of conception. It actually occurred 28 days prior when the goods were actually formulated. And so this imbalance in testosterone and androgens, among other things, are causing issues for fertility, for reproductive health, for um, prostate health, as well as so many plethora of other different things. These types of acne can appear on your face, your chest, your back, pretty much anywhere where you can get acne, you can get it there too. But the good news is it can be managed with the methods that we talked about before, including a combination of topical treatments that are specific to your skin type, hormonal balancing, uh, nutrient rich diet and foods that you are consuming, as well as your lifestyle. How long does it take to see improvements with hormonal acne? So the timeline for these treatments, it, it really varies from person to person. If you're using topical treatments like retinoids or salicylic acid, you can see improvements in your skin in about four weeks, four to eight weeks to see improvement on your skin. But to solve the problem internally, it can take between two and three months. For me personally, it took me about two months of implementing the new lifestyle changes consistently in order to see my acne go away. If you're using prescription medications, you can expect to see some results within three to six months. Um, but once again, like I said before, it's a combination of all of these things if you really want to see a significant improvement in your skin. How can you prevent scarring from hormonal acne? The best way to prevent scarring and pigmentation left behind from acne in general, especially those that are hormonal, is by not getting the indentations in your face in the first place. So this could be not picking your skin, not touching your skin, or poking and prodding at your skin. I am a recovering pimple picker, <laughs> but something like putting a pimple patch over it that stops you from getting at the pimple will really help to make sure it doesn't scar. For pigmentation specifically, using products that contain antioxidants as well as tyrosinase inhibitors will help to block excessive melanocytes so they don't run free around your face creating more dark spots. At the beginning of my journey, I never really focused on hyperpigmentation at all. Um, most of the information was not geared to darker skin complexions, so I never knew that that was something you were supposed to fight against in the first place. I thought it would just sort itself out, which it will in 12 years, but I want even skin before then. So make sure that you're using something like a vitamin C or a niacinamide, things that are going to prevent that pigmentation in the first place, as well as wear sunscreen because the sun exacerbates any dark spots on your face and it can actually make dark spots and acne worse. So wear sunscreen. The last thing, if you do happen to have scarring on your face, professional treatments like micro needling, lasers, microdermabrasion, high strength chemical peels are very effective for evening out your skin tone and texture. The key takeaways here is that there are many different causes for hormonal acne and treating it will be different for everyone because everyone's skin is different. But of course it is entirely treatable and it's something that you can manage. It is important to accept your skin no matter what stage it's in and aim towards progress, not perfection. So that is the end of the video. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. In the next video, I will teach you how to use specific herbal treatments to help you manage your hormonal acne. So make sure that you're subscribed and stay tuned. As always, remember to stay gorgeous, stay fabulous, and I'll see you lovely ladies and gents in the next video. Bye.